It was an environmental plan championed by the New South Wales government to preserve a wildlife corridor from the Snowy Mountains right through to Queensland. But residents in the state's northwest say a proposed high voltage power line now threatens to carve through crucial sections of that bushland. Environment reporter Sarah Clark reports from Tenterfield. Spanning 2,800 kilometres from southern New South Wales to Queensland, this stretch of bush is part of a corridor, giving animals a haven to migrate safely. But plans to build a high-voltage power line from Lismore to Tenterfield threatens to put that at risk. That is definitely at risk because we are going to have a corridor 60 metres wide carved through the trees that we've left and which have been left particularly for wildlife corridors. Rod and Margaret Dow's family has lived on this property for more than 125 years. They've planted trees and bushland, creating their own haven for native animals. But now Transcood, another government department, can come in and, and just do what we would actually get jailed for doing if, if we did it. And, and to us, that's, that's an enormous conflict. That's a concern shared by other landholders who say this region has a number of protected species and clearing a 60-metre swathe through untouched bushland will put a strain on those species. White box trees, Blakely red gums trees are considered highly endangered species. This is the home of them. Tenterfield is the home of them. The locals are now fighting transgrid. The state government says the extra power is needed to feed a growing population in northern New South Wales. But residents say the government's overcalculated. Apart from the fact that there's no need for this at all, it has not at all looked at the alternatives. And we believe very strongly if it were forced by the AER to look at the alternatives, then it would show very clearly that there's absolutely no need for this sort of electricity supply. An environment impact assessment on the proposed route is underway. Residents will consider taking the matter to court. Sarah Clark, ABC News, Tenterfield.